historic place uh, known for the visits of Agatha Christie. Now this all started, didn't it, because we were talking about cream teas, because it, well not just cream teas, afternoon teas, because it's afternoon tea week, and we were asking people in Devon to get in touch, to give us some advice on what, how it works, what a proper afternoon tea is and how it's formed. And lovely Juliet here called in and probably didn't bargain on us turning up and demanding it and to learn a bit more, but she is. So tell us a little bit how you got into not just um, afternoon teas, but the whole B&B breakfast bed and breakfast thing that you do. Okay, well um, about three years ago we were looking for something different to do. Um, I was a teacher and I've worked in a bank um, and we moved from the South East across the country to beautiful Torquay on the English Riviera. So before you did that, did you have any experience with this sort of thing? Uh, not really, I quite liked baking, but as a teacher there's not a lot of time to do much baking. Um, and I would kind of put one together for a friend or something, if there was a baby shower I'd do that kind of thing. Um, but it's become much more of an interest um, since I've been doing that. Does that mean we'll see you on Bake Off? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> now, the building itself, um, we're in the breakfast room, which you use as well for the, for the afternoon teas. I can, I can just sense the history here. The walls are so thick. It's a beautiful room, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And um, we're really lucky with the head height. Um, they've actually dug out some of the floors, so we've got a full sort of 12 foot here, which is really lovely, which you don't always get in, in underground rooms. And is that the reason, apart from the teas, that you get a lot of visitors, and probably locals as well, because of the historical connections? Definitely. Um, the connection to Agatha Christie, this was a vicarage. Um, she came here as a child with her family. Um, they were friendly with the vicar that lived here then. And then later on in the 40s, um, she used to correspond with the vicar that lived here um, on things to do with the church in her books. And she actually based one of her books on this house. Oh, goodness, that's amazing. What was the book on? No, during the vicar. Of course it wasn't. She was <laughs> <wasn't laughs> <wasn't laughs> <wasn't laughs> Now we were talking to Juliet. Nigel, you're yes. here as well. So you work as a double act. Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I clearly do the, uh, the the stuff in the kitchen and Juliet's very much front of house. So you're the one responsible for all the beautiful little scones that we're going to have a look at in a minute? Not, No, she does the baking side. I do the breakfast side. Ah. So, so yeah, she's in charge. I'm afraid Agatha Christie might have a new angle on one of her stories, on one of her books, uh, if me and if Angela and myself were let loose because there uh, could be food poisoning. <gasps> At least. To, uh, one, of the, one of the murder mysteries. I really hope not. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. This is why we need a lot of help, yes. isn't it, Gordon? Um, so you've got a beautiful, just behind Gordon, I'm trying not to look at it, um, but you've got this beautiful uh, tea set up just, just for us. And take me through because you've got a tiered set of plates. We did. So um, it's, it's wet with china uh, and we have a tiered three plate um, arrangement. Uh, so the savouries are on the top, the sweet things are in the middle, and at the moment we've just got scones on the bottom, but we would normally have sandwiches on that layer. So. But you, you threw it on us a bit quick today, so uh, we didn't quite have enough time to get a full tea ready. Well, I wish you could smell what we could smell through the radio, because Gordon, it's making me so hungry, it's lovely, it's isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now, this has to be bone china, doesn't Not it? quite right. It should be bone china, I feel, and um, has a lovely ring to it. Um, and it just, it just 